What's going on? Tectonic Edge here playing some more Monogreen Tron, and we are just waiting for the opening hand here any second now. There it is, Declare Jagantha. Tower, tower, map. Not good enough. Mulligan that away into a this. Better, but still not what we want. This one at least gets us turn Fortron. But we'll roll again. And we'll roll again. And we're going to have to give this a shot, which is a bit of an issue between. I guess we ditch that. We at least want two lands so we can start doing stuff and more affinity or well it could be hammer time but no artifact land it is affinity just played this matchup the wire might must be really good but not what we want to see here that was a fairly powerful turn. Lord Haywire might. No green source, though. Well, that's the best card we could have seen. We're going to have to gamble they don't have a green source. Or at least not a green source that comes in untapped. All right, that is a top deck. Last card's a land. Oh, it's a green source. That's painful. Okay. They didn't go for the map. We're actually not in the worst spot. They don't have a lot of power out on the board. Got a massive board state, but they're not finding what they need. Really do anything here. We do get to hold up Boseju next turn. if we don't find anything else. Don't crack this yet. Inefficient here. But Boseju. Granted, if we have to use the Boseju. Okay. Second, there we have. Would have been rough. Random, we still may not want to play the second. Th eh, I guess we want to start blocking. Worth the risk, I think. They are just pinging us down. Our best draw would be in a blue.
Oh, we have a few options. Shoot explosives on zero does a good. Oh crap, uh, which is better? Probably the warm coil then. In a good spot. They only have two mana, so even if they get the cranial plating, they can't equip it to any. Extra land. They flooded. This is a uh, flooded hand for. Infinity does not want five mana. Let me get rid of their flyers this turn. Let's swing. With the buff stage you're still in hand, their best draw is going to be a cranial plating, which they can uh, equip and kill the Karn, likely. I, now I guess I block whatever one they do. Okay, yeah. We were in a pretty good spot there. Although. A little bit of luck because we had some dead turns as well they just happened to have um, they had all the low drops but none of the gas and the haywire mites main board are interesting i think i only want two haywire mites and i'll leave one for karn to grab although engineer explosive does a pretty good job as well uh, chalice. I'm a little tempted to bring in the main board chalice. Last time, I may do it game three if there's a game three. Uh, just because we'll be on the play and that early chalice play will be very good. Very, very good. Okay. Good thing Mox Opal isn't in the format right now because uh, the possibility of, eh, I guess no, they could still have it. They could still turn to a Haywire Mite. Be rough if they do. From the play, it's less likely, but eh, they could turn one if they had the, the uh, Mox, though. Interesting.
Now this is the risky turn. Okay. Ooh. Oh, they can still have it. They have it. No, oh, but they have the other thing I don't like. Ah, uh, dampening sphere. Top monitor is a bit rough. That's also a little scary. I wish I could cast something else, but I can't. Curse's mine off the top would be very nice, though. Got options here. All right, they have another land. Do they hold up Urza Saga? Is gonna... That would be pretty good. No, oh, they're going for the equip. Okay. I guess they still hold it up with uh, spring leaf drum. Yep.
Oh, um, unfortunately, I'm going to have to do this now. I don't like that I'm having to do this now, uh, but they can grab Pithing Needle off that Urza Saga. Which would be a bit unfortunate. Or they can go grab the uh, way to give it protection. Well, the Haywire might, honestly. I think they're going to move the Shadow Spear. I had to hazard a guess. Uh, yep, Haywire might. I really want a Tron Land. But maybe there's this power plant. Arn. We have a lot of cards in hand. Much for Congregate Creator to really do as much. Or our might would kill the worm coil, which may not be the worst, but they're going to run us over with that token if we don't get rid of it. That change the math for I'll run out one more of that. Eh, not enough to put it in our favor, but it's gonna make for a really good turn next turn. They have the right draw, we're dead, but they need exactly any old plate. That's not a cranial plating. And I think this is one of the ones where we're going to be in a good spot. Fair enough. Not sure I would have gone down a creature there. What's the best play?
Clear their flyers. Best case uh, with the plating now is a 6-6. Six, six. I think we're in a good spot. And we've got the warp and we'll survive a turn. Although they can uh, they can either um, go for trample, lifelink, or uh, the quick move. But I think we're in a really good spot. Oh, all right. Well, the good news is it can equip deck. Uh, but we're going to play a little defensive next. Oh, uh, they all have one. Oh, that's that's going to be tricky. Drain my hand fast enough. That's a bit of an issue. Don't know why I wouldn't block this. That would be why. Permanence to your opponent's control. Lose hex proof. Destructible turn. Yep. Fair enough. Oh, I wish that was better. Uh, do we need to really get rid of that? I think we kind of do. And Insuring Bridge doesn't help us because we can't get low enough in hand. Up the Warping Whale until after they declare attacks. Okay, they've got enough. They can do it twice. All right. Yep. Yeah, we're just going to Haywire Might. Activate abilities of artifacts can't be activated. They can't. Oh, I'm, an, I'm not thinking this clearly. All right. But that. I still think it's a good move. Can I use this to protect our Karn? Wasn't thinking. Once Karn's on the battlefield, they can't equip. 
And we really just need to protect Karn, so probably a fucking blister would be. We do this like we do. Oh, it's non creature artifact. Fair enough. And uh, yeah, the card's going to die. That was non-creature artifact. I learned to read my cards better. Uh, Warping Whale. Well, actually, we're playing Worm Crawl Engine would have been fine. They couldn't. Do I Warping Whale here? Because three mana. Yeah, they kill it no matter what I do. I'd rather wait for them to try and equip that Shadow Spear. Hopefully, thing, but all right. That's not really the best here, honestly. Yeah, we'll go this way. Five, six. All out, but we're going to Warping Whale and have it live on one. I feel like we're in a good spot, though it's a tricky spot. Go for the leveler, go to the thought monitor. And I think we've just started locking it down from here. Maybe you should have gone a little more aggressive. 
They're going to give them potential mana, but mana, again, isn't their biggest concern right now. They've got plenty of mana. And we've got a decent sized blocker. Uh, uh, yeah, biggest worry is, well, they need to kill Karn first, so we're still in a pretty good spot here. So Karn dies. Plus, with Karn on the battlefield, that power stone is a lot less useless, or a lot more useless than I was thinking. They're going to just concede that. Uh, fair enough. All right. Well, we've got one bad affinity game, one good affinity game, two affinity decks. So affinity may be on the rise. Uh, interesting to see them running Haywire Might. I should probably give the deck another spin again now that I think about it, because that is one of the decks I play. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think. Tectonic Edge here, signing out.